Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. Today I am going to show you how you can create an image with Duet AI in Google Slides. It's a very new feature. It's really, really cool. And you could just imagine a whole lot of what's going to happen in the future with this feature. So let me show you how you're going to do that. Now, the first thing you want to make sure is going on here is that you're actually logged into your Google account and then you are actually on Google Slides. So you could log into your Google account and just search for Google Slides and it'll bring you right here. Well, all you, the first thing you could do is actually go to File, click New, and you'll see a presentation just like this with just one slide here, which is typically where you add the title and the subtitle. Quite similar to PowerPoint from Microsoft. And so in this instance, we are going to create this image for slide two here if you want to add your slides you could always right click there and do new slides so in this instance we have two three slides but i'm going to delete it because we're just going to use slide two to do this now let's get this on to create this you want to go to insert and go to image just like you're adding any other image now you see here it says create image with duet ai and once you click that you can see it to the right here this is where you put your description and where you could start the magic. Now, I'm going to show you another way you could get there without having to go to the tab, the insert tab, is to go to this feature to the right here. See, create image with Duet AI. And once you click that, it should just show you the same exact thing. Now, the good thing is, um, you can see here, it shows you the inspiration example and light and airy modern kitchen design with the waterfall island so if you wanted to um, create images these are the kind of things that you could do a fantasy castle surrounded by clouds made of cotton candy now these are the prompts that would go in here and as i've noticed once you click here you will see examples as you can see uh, every few seconds they change a detailed and realistic image a picnic on a colorful patchwork blanket at the park so these are probably examples you could use. You can't copy them though. You know, you'd have to actually type them out, but I guess it's just giving you inspiration. So, uh, but here are some of the examples like coming in through a window, Cosmic Galaxy artwork, digital art, soft focus. So you can see these are examples. Now what I've noticed is, let's say you wanted to do this for a business. I'm not sure all the images come out, but let's just give it a shot. So let's just say two, uh, business professionals meeting over coffee. All right. Because you might want to use that for a social media post or something or, you know, a Google slide. Sorry, I should say this is for a Google slide. You might want to use that for your Google slide um, image um, to show that, you know, you meet with people and stuff. So we've typed it in here. Two business professionals meeting over coffee. Okay, now let's go here. That's just the examples. If you wanted to see the examples, they're right here, this little arrow, and I am just uh, putting it down there now. We'll get back to the examples later. Okay, two business professionals meeting over coffee. So let's do create here and let's see what happens. Bring in your vision to life. This could take about 20 seconds. See that we are still learning and can't help with that. Try something else. So this is just to let you know it's not everything, at least right now, that you're going to put in there um, that's going to come out. It might have to do with the fact that it also mentioned people. I don't know. But that's, I just wanted you to know that, that if your prompt goes in here and you don't, you know, you don't get to see anything, it's because it's still learning and they can't help with that. So don't be disappointed when you see that. Now, let's pick something that we think at least they might have. So let's say cars flying in a futuristic futuristic abstract let's do that futuristic abstract um scene okay now let's do create and i'm going to just copy this cuz you'll see exactly what i need to do with it later just to spice things up all right so let's click create and let's see I think this will probably show up, but who knows? Who really knows? Let's just wait and see. Now, there you go, as you can see here. See that? So it gives you four options right now. So I actually like all four. 
<laughs> so if you want it in your image, all you have to do, as you see, is just click it and it goes in there. And you can just simply edit it just like you do with any other picture in your Google slide. So we could put all four pictures here and see that they are all there. Now, um, I'm just going to put these over here. What we didn't do um, is, oh, I just clicked create more there. So we'll see what happens um, is add a style. And so we're going to go over here because now you can see what we did was pretty much no style. Well, guess what? You can do all these other things, photography, background, vector art, sketch, watercolor. So I'm just going to click watercolor there and create and let's see what happens. So you have different styles that you can use. And so again, this is no style, but this is watercolor. Now look at all the watercolor ones here. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Really, really cool stuff. As you can see, so you could just click it again and add it into your images. Oh, see that? I just mistakenly closed it out. But guess what? This is what is really, really cool about this. Because I think if I go right back to it, I can see exactly what I was doing before. So I don't need to freak out. My whole history is here, as you can see, from the no styles to the painting, they are all there. Now, what I also want to show you is how you could use these prompts already. Um, because if you want the inspiration example, if you wanted to copy this prompt, all you have to do is copy example text. You see that copy example text here. So let's copy that. And it's copied to the clipboard, it says. And so let's go back down here and scroll up. And we are going to paste it here. See Cosmic Galaxy artwork, digital art, soft focus and so if you also just needed to copy a prompt real quick and or you liked any of these styles well guess what you can do that there and now let's see if we can copy this both of them i'm actually going to copy this again i'm not sure if it did that but let's see and paste it yeah so see that so i'm actually going to copy both prompts as an example here um, and then let's go to, uh, wow, cyberpunk over here and let's create and see. So these are two styles that I've copied from the prompts that they already had in Google slide. Oh, wow. Wow. That is groovy. That's really, really cool. Holy moly. Wow. That's really nice. That's really nice. Look at how cool that is. Wow, that's awesome. I mean, this is Google Slides. Like who knew you could do this two, three years ago in Google Slides? Just the phenomenon of tech. The it's just so phenomenal. <laughs> like this is really cool. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. If it is, like the video, subscribe to our channel so you can always continue to see great content that's helpful to you. And so you don't miss out on this new technologies that we always show on our YouTube page. Till next time, take care.